Hi, thanks for joining me in another video today. If you have a Tesla vehicle older than 2022, you may not be able to use a CCS connector and won't be able to plug into a third-party NACS connector at DC Fast Chargers. Well, that's until now, as the CCS retrofit for the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles is finally here. Older Model S and X cars have had this retrofit option for some time now, but it took a while for the Model 3 and Y to receive this option. There are important things to know about the rollout of NACS, why the retrofit is important, and why you might want to get it. If you're not sure if your car is compatible, you can check if you need one by going into the settings menu under additional information. If it says this, then keep on watching. CCS is not just a charging connector, it's also a communication protocol. When Tesla made the NACS connector available to the public, they chose CCS as its communication standard. This made basic adapters like this one possible, but more importantly, it made the rollout of NACS simpler. Third-party charging networks didn't have to incorporate Tesla's proprietary protocol. Only a simple cable swap and configuration change were necessary to support NACS. The communication standard used by Tesla superchargers is proprietary and wasn't included in the NACS standard. This retrofit isn't just about the adapter. It involves replacing the computer responsible for communicating with your wall charger or DC fast charger. CCS uses Powerline Communication, or PLC, to talk, which older Tesla models don't support without this retrofit. Consequently, even an Electrify America charger with a Tesla connector won't be able to communicate with your car unless it has that retrofit. If you choose to get the retrofit, Tesla service will access your ECU from your trunk and switch it out. It takes about 30 minutes for the replacement and configuration. This is my old ECU, which was removed from my car. Some EV GO stations have had the NAX connector for a while now, but don't be fooled, this is just a CHAdeMO adapter attached to the charger. So by now you've seen a lot of Teslas charging with the CCS connector. Those are newer Teslas that came with CCS communication straight out of the factory. However, now we can try the connector with an older Model 3 that had a retrofit. On the Tesla shop page, it says this adapter should be capable of up to 250 kilowatts of charging. But there's a note that says most networks aren't capable of charging that quickly. That's actually an important note. Tesla built their charging network specifically for Tesla cars. And until recently, all Tesla cars were built off a 400 volt architecture. This meant superchargers had to provide very high amperage in order to achieve their fast charging. Most chargers outside the supercharger network support a wide range of voltages but offer lower amperage. So even though the charger we're about to use is labeled as a 350 kilowatt charger, and that's correct, we shouldn't expect it to go much higher than 200 kilowatts. We observed this with other 400 volt cars like the Rivian R1T and R1S. Okay, let's plug in. So it's great that EVgo you can set up plug and charge. So we're gonna connect our adapter. Oh, and get that in there. We just plug in and it starts automatically charging and billing to your account. So we're not gonna charge all the way up, but as you can see here, we're maxing out at 204, 200 kilowatts basically. So that's the fastest we're gonna be able to charge here. The next connector will eventually be available in non-Tesla DC fast charging networks like Electrify America, EVgo, ChargePoint, and others. If your car isn't equipped with CCS communication, you won't be able to use the NACS connector. With the large Tesla supercharging network, you probably won't need to use something like Electrify America or EVgo for your Tesla. However, if you're interested in expanding your options to charge, you may want to get this on your vehicle if you don't have it yet. Additionally, it can be beneficial if you're comparing charging prices and discover that an EVgo station down the road is cheaper than the Tesla network. For Model 3 and Y owners, the adapter plus the retrofit costs $350, while for Model S and Model X owners, it's $450. Considering the benefits, it's a relatively inexpensive safety net to access other networks. Currently, networks like EVgo and Electrify America are more expensive than Tesla in my area and regions I've traveled to, so I consider this adapter mainly a backup option for me. So once your car is ready to use the CCS adapter, be careful what adapter you actually buy. Cheap CCS adapters have started to go on sale and while you might get lucky and find one that's okay, I'd advise you to steer clear. Spending a bit extra to get an OEM or certified adapter is worth it. You don't want to cost thousands of dollars of damage to a charger or your car because you decide to save a bit by buying a cheap adapter. Some of these have blatant safety flaws and should be avoided. These ones that are the J1772 and CCS combo adapters probably shouldn't be sold. I feel like there may be a safety hazard there. Don't buy them. The reason the OEM adapters don't support J1772 and CCS charging in a single package is because NAX uses the same pins for AC and DC. So if you provide power to these top two pins, then the bottom two pins are going to be energized. 
There are some CCS chargers which have these two AC pins as well. I feel like that would cause some major issues backfeeding power. At least there's a safety flap here, but I wouldn't recommend using this. Retrofitting your older Tesla with the CCS adapter can greatly expand your charging options and provide a valuable backup for when Tesla superchargers aren't available. While the retrofit involves more than just an adapter swap, the benefits of having access to a wider range of charging networks are worth considering. Remember to invest in a high quality OEM or certified adapter to avoid potential safety hazards and damage. By making this upgrade, you can ensure your Tesla is ready to charge almost anywhere. Thanks for spending time with me today. Have any V I can review? Email me at info at kaizv.com. Support our channel and check out our Kai sticker shop. Kai is my dog. And follow us on social media at kaizv. That's all for now, and happy charging. Tried to find a quiet spot to film, but there's this helicopter moving an AC unit. Not very quiet.